Hey everybody, it's Tiffany here. Thanks so much for stopping by. So I'm just playing around. I've made some more journals. I um, did this tutorial uh, uh, last week, I guess, and showed how to cover the junior sized composition book. So if you wanna check that out, I love how this turned out. I This is actually a printable from a shop on Etsy. I don't have to find that name and link it for you, but oh my gosh, is that so gorgeous? <laughs> and it definitely comes out um, a lot brighter if you use the nicer, like, photo, matte photo paper. Yeah, so I'm making these little dangles. I'm calling them journal jewelry or binder bling. I did actually hand make these little these little charms out of polymer clay and I'm sure you can find plenty of tutorials on that. I'm just going to show you how to put them together. Here's another one from my last video. I just got some of these little tassels that I got at, uh, I think from Hobby Lobby or somewhere in my travels. So those are fun. I also have some little, oh, you know, you can use any kind of beads that you want. It's helpful to have some lobster clasps. I do make jewelry and so I have all of this stuff on hand already. I make jewelry for a living, so this is just my fun side job. Uh, here's this one, it has the little fuzzy pom-poms. I've got a bunch of those. So just some fun ideas. So if you don't have lobster clasps, you can use one of these little uh, Oh, I just forgot what they were called. Little pins that you get on your clothing. So I always save these little pins if they come on my clothes. So there's that. And another idea is these little things that come on. I love Skechers shoes and they always have these on their shoes so you could use something like that and just hang your your little charms from that okay and I did show how I attached these in my last video so I'll link that video below also but I just wanted to show you how to um, put these together so I'm gonna move some stuff and we'll get started Okay, so you'll need some jump rings and some wire. This is just um, Beetalon brand wire. Uh, maybe I'll grab the package so you can see it. And here's the wire that I like to use for things like this. It's a really good quality. It doesn't tarnish. So... And it's a 24 gauge is usually what I use for something like this. I am using some real pearls because that's what I have. And real pearls have really small holes. So you need a 24 or a 26 gauge wire to get through the small holes. But basically all we're doing is kind of making an earring dangle. And... I've got, let's see here, what do I have? I've got these cute little, these are not real pearls, but they're very sweet. I've got some gold pins, just gold plated. Okay, it's got a nice big fat end on it, which I love. Or a ball end is great too. I'm gonna to straighten that out a little little bit wonky there we go and just 
stick that into your pearl. So you'll need wire, pins, and some kind of a little clasp or something to hang it from. Now, you'll want a pair of round nose pliers, if you can get them. And I like to have two pair of flat nose pliers that don't have any marks on the inside of them. You can use the ones with the marks in them if you if that's what you have but they do tend to mar your your jewelry so all we need to do is grab that right at the base of your pearl your bead whatever bead you're using and push it towards you make a nice 90 degree i think that's 90 degrees <laughs> bend okay take your pliers out and push your put your wire facing away from you and put your pliers back in so you're holding it like that. Now you're going to push your wire up and around and back down towards you. Now you're going to lift your pliers, twist them this way, and so you can just go around that bottom loop and then you've made a circle. All right. Now you don't have to do this if you want to just use a charm on the bottom of a dingle, but this makes it really, yeah, extra, extra wonderful. And then all you need to do is grab that, the end of that wire and wrap it around. Oh, I lied. Sometimes I just use the round nose pliers instead of two pairs. Well, yeah, instead of two pairs of of flat but it does come in handy for other for our if you've got them they it comes in handy for opening jump rings all right there's our little charm and you want to make sure that oh where's my glasses that that little end of your wire is not poking out and it is so i just grab it grab the ring you just made the little circle and just press it down with your flat nose pliers there's that and then i'm going to grab a pearl let's see yeah i like that one and I had a some little crystals, with some little crystals. Like I said, use have fun and use whatever beads you want to use. Let's see. Do I want that there? Yeah, I think I'll put that in the center. So here you're going to put your wire through your bead. Oh, that's got a big ugly spot on it, but that's okay. It's not a pair of earrings. Oh, I'm trying not to break this fingernail and I think I just broke it again. Fooey. <laughs> okay, sorry, getting distracted. And I just measure with my fingers. I go about <laughs> uh, maybe a quarter of an inch past that finger, hold the bead in between these two fingers and maybe a quarter inch past that finger. And it doesn't hurt when you're when you're learning to cut a little bit extra. It does make it easier if you have more. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing. We're holding just above the bead. We've got the bead centered on that piece of wire. We're going to push down on that wire and make a nice bend. Then we lift up our pliers, open them up, put that on the bottom, hold that, Push the wire around like that and then keep on pushing that around to finish your circle. Now you've got a little circle there again and you can make these circles bigger however big you want but I don't have a lot of wire here so I'm going to keep them small. I want to have about this much space about as much as my pliers at the end of the tip of my pliers there and then hold that at the top 
of the bead and do the same thing again on the other side. Push it towards you, push it down, finish that circle. Okay, so now you've got a circle on both sides. And so you can join that to the little charm that you've just made. Oh, I was gonna put the, I think I'll put the crystal in the center. And crystals usually have big holes, so we might have to make our little circles a tiny bit bigger. So you might want to cut a little extra wire. So I just hold it. Sometimes I'll just hold there so I've got the space there and push that down to make the, the angle and then grab it here and I want so I want that much space on either side of the bead just as much space as you've got on the tip of your pliers like that so I don't know if you can see that if that'll even focus there and then it will hold it in place while you wrap your little loops so I'm going to if you go in farther into your pliers you can make a little bit bigger circles Okay, let's try and do that. Then, I think that's how I want it. <laughs> and just slide that into there like it's a paper clip. And slide that into there. So that could be an earring if you hung it on an ear wire. Now, we're going, this is where it comes in handy to have two pairs of flat nose pliers we're going to hold across that circle so it's not going to move and it's not going to get bent out of shape and we're going to take the end of our wire and just twist that around two to three times and it's probably going to get lost in the hole of our crystal and you guys might think it's crazy to use real pearls but you know what when you buy them wholesale in a strand they are really cheap actually all right and then we'll do the same thing here for this one another thing you can do is just attach two beads rather than putting another bead in the center just attach two beads with a jump ring and i'll show you i think i've got let's see you also can just do two beads do i have one like that maybe i don't anyway okay i'm gonna clip those off I go in as close as I can get it, holding the bead on my left, like that, and then make sure you don't have any sharp little pokies. All right, just tamp that down. Oh, I cut this one too. Okay, and you see I'm leaving this one open for now until I decide what I want to do with it. I probably could go ahead and close it. Sometimes you'll have jump rings that are closed, and so you'll want to put it on your jump ring or whatever, you know, maybe a piece of an earring um, hook that's closed. And so you'll want to put that on before you close it up. So, or like this, like uh, the lobster clasp. This is closed, this little ring here. So you, if you wanted to put that directly on there, you could, and then, then you would wrap it around. Um, I'm not gonna worry about that because I am going to be adding some a jump ring to that to make it extra um, dangly. We've got some gold-plated 
jump rings here. I think these are about 10 millimeters, maybe eight. Nine, I think they're nine, nine millimeters, but anywhere between probably, you could use six, six is kind of small for something like this, but eight, eight or nine is perfect, I think. Seven, eight or nine, sevens are harder to find. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, too much information probably. And then I'm gonna just grab my lobster clasp and my two flat nose pliers. And we're going to open our jump ring. Now this is the proper way to open a jump ring. Grab, I've got my little opening right here at the top and I'm going to grab it on both sides and push one pair of pliers one way and the other pair of pliers the other way. Okay. So you're opening up like that, almost making an S. Um, you don't have to open it up that much for something like this, but just for demonstration. You don't want to open it up this way because then you, it's going to, you're going to lose the shape of your circle this way. We're going to do the same thing again, but backwards, we're going to grab both sides again and push either direction with your pliers, wiggle it together just a bit. Hopefully that's focusing, I can't see the camera until you see them meeting up perfectly. And there we go. And then I'll go ahead and finish Wrapping this one. Alrighty, that part is finished. So we've got a beautiful little pearl dangle. And now I want to add my strawberry to that. And let's see, what else do I want to add? Maybe a little tassel. So all we need to do is the same thing here. This is easy. I've got already got a jump ring put on there. I've got two jump rings put on my little strawberry. Isn't that cute? I think I uh, I want to say I got the strawberry clay um, cutter from Row Clay, but don't quote me on that. I can find it and list it below too, or put her name below. <laughs> That's so cute. And just to open that up, I might want, I think I want it to hang kind of in the center there. So I think I'm going to get one more, put one more jump ring on there. So I'll just add it like that. Okay. And then open that one up. That one's a little smaller than this one. That's okay. And then I want to make sure it's hanging the right way. So I'll hang it like that. Let's see. Yeah, I'm just going to, you could either hang it here or you could hang it on the lobster clasp. I'm going to hang it on the lobster clasp so that it will hang the direction that I want it to. Okay. Isn't that fun? And then... You can add like another little pearl here if you wanted to. Just put it on a pin. Maybe I'll, let's see. This is a cute pearl too. This is like a vintage faux pearl. That's cute. Um, but yeah, I think I'll, I don't know if this will even go on. Yeah, that won't go on the pin. If you don't have pins, take your wire cut maybe three two two and a half to three inches take your round nose pliers and probably ought to make sure that's cut smoothly but grab it on the very tip of your pliers and the very tip of your wire twist that around let go twist it around again until you make a little tiny loop on the bottom then i'm going to twist it around again I mean, sorry, then I'm going to push the tail out a little bit and straighten it. Okay, and that makes you a nice little little pin that you can hang your 
pearl on because I could not get that pearl through. Then I'll do that, make my wire wrapped loop. That's what it's called. I should have told you that earlier. Again, push that towards me, rotate your pliers. I'm going to stretch it out a little bit by pulling on it, pulling on one side of the circle. Okay, and then push that a little bit to straighten that. Oh, am I on camera? So I just pushed my pearl a little bit that way to straighten it out. Okay, and then you could add that there. I don't think I want another pearl there though. But if you had something else, like this cute little rhinestone bead, I don't, I don't have any more of those, but that would be cute to add just onto maybe one of these rings right here. But yeah, I don't, I think I'd rather have something different besides another pearl there. But I'm, I don't have any more beads out with me upstairs right now. It's all in the basement in my craft room, but... Yeah, and then I think I'll just add a little tassel and be done. Let's see. What tassel, where did I put those? Okay, I'm going to do a green one this time, and I'm just going to do that again. Grab both sides next to your opening and push in two directions. And then just put that through the hole. And then, let's see, where do I want that? And so there's different places you can hang it. I think I'll just go ahead and hang it that way. Let's see how it looks if I put it kind of on the back. In this first ring that the pearls are on. And sometimes I'll you know, see how it looks and then I'll change it or move it. But I'm happy with that. That's cute. Okay, and then that's all there is to it. And then you can attach it to your little your little photo wallet like that. So easy. Or, um, on here I've got my, my bow, my ribbon, so, and this is where, this is where a pin comes in really handy because it's easy, it's totally still doable with a lobster clasp, but really easy to just pin that into the center of your knot there, and clasp that up, and there. That's so easy to hang that from your little bow. <laughs> Trying to get them all straight so you could see them. Isn't that so fun? I love that so much. Um, yeah, be sure and let me know if you have any questions. And please like this video and share it. Would help me out. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.